Greetings and salutations, everybody. Lord X here coming at you once again. And it's a little overdue, but it's time to run through my pickups of December 2012. What exactly did I get in that month? Well, quite a bit, to be honest with you. Whew, it was a, it was an expensive time. Quite a few digital games, and I got five physical titles, so... First off, I'm just going to run through the digital stuff that I picked up. I uh, just pull up my little list here. Uh, first, I got Telltale, Telltale Games Game of Thrones. Say that five times fast. Uh, on the PlayStation 4, I bought the Season Pass. So that, that the first episode there has been awesome. Second episode is supposed to come out at some point this month. Uh, next up, Valiant Hearts The Great War. I got on the holiday sale and I played it. And you may have seen it on my top five, or my uh, top eleven games of 2014. It is damn good, and I'm kind of sad I didn't buy it at full price because it would have been worth it. <laughs> uh, I picked up Mount Your Friends on the Steam sale. Yep, you heard me correctly. I expect some kind of let's play of that in the future. Uh, I also got The Escapist. Uh, one of the only early access games I think I've bought. Uh, I got Prison Architect as well. What's with me with buying 8-bit prison style games from early access? I, I don't know, but I did. Uh, I dabbled with it a little bit. I want to do a Let's Play into it, so expect a Let's Play at some point for that. Uh, Race the Sun I picked up on PS4, 3, and Vita. Again, it was on the summer or holiday sale. I <laughs> I'm all fucked up right now. Uh, lack of sleep just due to watching awesome games done quick. So yeah, I picked up Race of Sun. Been playing that a lot. Uh, I picked up Peggle 2 because it was like under 5 bucks. And I was like, eh, I've never really seen the hype in the game. But I want to see what it's like. I played for, I don't know, nearly 2 hours the first day I put it in. It's quite fantastic to be honest with you. Um... I picked up Democracy 3 with the Extremism DLC. Haven't really tried that yet. I put it on like the first day I bought it, and I don't know, I just couldn't get used to it, but I want to learn, because that game looks really fun, and it has Steam Workshop support, so could be some interesting videos in the future, perhaps. And the last digital game I picked up in December, The Banner Saga. And I can guarantee you, I can guarantee to you that I will be doing a Let's Play in that. I will be 100% doing a Let's Play series of that game. Because I have been wanting to play it for quite some time now. And it went on sale, so I was like, yeah, you know what, I'm finally going to dive into it and buy it. I've heard comparisons to, like, XCOM for the combat and whatnot, and... Uh, characters who can die off permanently, so <laughs> I think it might be very appropriate for a Let's Play series. So with that, let's dive into the physical games I bought. First, we're going to start with the Vita. I got Conception 2, Children of the Seven Stars. And I actually got the uh, limited edition package, which came with the soundtrack as well. I'm not exactly sure where I have that put to right now, but yeah. So I picked up Conception 2. Haven't tried it yet. It's probably next on my list for the Vita after I get through Tales of Hearts R. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I got this for 20 bucks too. So $20 for the game and soundtrack at Best Buy. So really happy with this purchase. Next up, the one sole PlayStation 3 game I got, and one of the reasons why I was a little bit delayed in doing this list, and I'm referring... To Persona 4 Arena Ultimax! Yes, the Persona 4 fighting game. Who is behind it all? Massive story mode. So, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to diving into this one. I, I never got into the first Persona 4 Arena game that much, but I really want to learn this one, and I really, really want to 
dive into it head first and play because I love the Persona series. I'm extremely excited for Persona 5. It's it is possibly my most anticipated game of next year. Well, maybe you can check that out in the video that I put up recently. So yeah, really looking forward to this. And even better, I got this on Amazon for $24.99. It also came with a blow-up teddy punching bag. So that's cool. Of course, I haven't taken this out yet. And the Tariot cards. As you can see, there's one of them right there. I might take these out of the bag eventually, but for now they're staying in here. And I have to admit, I was not expecting them to be, you know, this size in scale. This is like, this fit, this barely fits in my hand. So, really nice with the production of these cards. And there's quite a few of them here. I think there's like a dozen, so really cool collectible for any Persona fan. And finally, diving into the PlayStation 4 games I picked up. GTA 5, first person. You've probably seen me tweet out pictures upon pictures of Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, back when I bought this for the PS3, I always wished there was the uh, share feature. And as soon as it came to PS4, I knew I was going to buy it, if only for that reason. To share videos and pictures. And I do have a clip that I will probably be uploading in the very near future that I recorded off my PS4, so look forward to that. I probably won't be uploading directly to YouTube from my PS4, but you can expect GTA 5 videos that pop up on my channel. And the last game that I have here for the month of December, again, one of the reasons why I was waiting to do this video because I bought it off Amazon for 30 bucks. The Evil Within. I'm not a horror fan. At all. Not at least when it comes to movies. Games I can tolerate. Games I can appreciate and love. I grew up with Resident Evil, Parasite Eve. Funny story, I actually got Parasite Eve for Christmas one year. Thank you, big bro. <laughs> awesome gift. I'll never forget those fucking rats in the sewer horrifying memories. But anyways, yeah, uh, everything I've seen from The Evil Within made me want to buy it. Uh, I held off because of the high price point. When it showed up for $30 on Amazon's Boxing Week sales, I had to get it. I had to buy it. So I'm really looking forward to diving into this. And I think I may stream the entirety of this game. So... Keep an eye on my Twitch, the underscore Lord X, and yeah, you may be seeing this pop up there, and I'll, I'll export the videos over to YouTube anyway, if you miss it on Twitch. So with that, guys, that's going to do it for my uh, pickups for the month of December. It was a busy month. January is looking really, really calm. I've only picked up like a couple games off the Steam sale. That was it. Uh, actually, I can can't tell you because the window closed, but yeah, I think I've only bought like one game so far <laughs> this month. Really good. Really good. Anyways, I've got a lot to play. I've got a lot to do. So until next time, guys, I've been Lord X. You've been awesome. And I'll catch you later.